graduands, guests, academic colleagues, mums, dads, friends, grandparents, supporters. Hello and welcome back to Leeds Beckett University. Please welcome the academic procession for the School of Events, Tourism and Hospitality Management and the Carnegie School of Sport. Over the course of five days, more than 7,000 undergraduate, postgraduate and research students will be joining us to celebrate their achievements. Today's procession features academics from across the School of Events, Tourism and Hospitality Management and the Carnegie School of Sport. Following our academics is our Mace Bearer, who would traditionally accompany the Chancellor or Vice-Chancellor to protect them from attack. But today their appearance is purely ceremonial. The Mace was created in recognition of our name change to Leeds Beckett University in 2014. The design reflects the traditional style of ancient Maces in acknowledgement of the long history of the University. Now that everyone is seated, we will begin today's proceedings with speeches from Leeds Beckett representatives who have played a key role in supporting the graduates here today. Your Master of Ceremony today is Leeds Beckett University Registrar and Secretary, Michaela Borislavsky. <laughs> Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates and guests, welcome to Leeds Beckett University on what is a very special occasion for us all. It is my great pleasure to formally open the proceedings. We begin with an address from Leeds Beckett University Chair of Governors, Ian Cornish. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, graduates and friends, a very warm welcome to everyone for what for all of us here is a very important, a very special and I hope a joyous day. I had the great privilege of being appointed as Chair of the Board of Governors of the University about a year ago and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to play a small part in what is uh, one of Leeds' great success stories. In the short time that I've been involved with Leeds Beckett, I've witnessed a university which has a truly outstanding team of academic, professional services and support staff, working towards a common goal of giving our students not just the best academic education we can, but also equipping them with the skills and the confidence to be successful in their chosen careers and also to make a contribution to our wider society. And I've been truly inspired to see so many students working incredibly hard and achieving so much in what we all know to have been very difficult and very demanding times. There's a lot of ill-informed uh, negativity and cynicism in some parts of the media about universities at the moment and indeed about some students. But the reality is 
that the higher education sector is instrumental to the success of our nation. And Leeds Beckett is a university which makes an immense contribution to the lives of individuals, to the city of Leeds, to our wider region, our country, and to the world. And you can be proud of being a part of that, just as we are very proud of all of you. So to all of you, huge congratulations on the successes that we're celebrating today. Thank you for your time at Leeds Beckett. And do remember that even though you may be leaving us today, you will always remain a part of this community. And finally, I know that all our graduates will be the first to acknowledge how important the support of their family and friends has been in helping them achieve their many successes. I have to warn those friends and family that you're going to be spending the next two hours in a continuous round of applause. So um, you can sit still for a moment, but can I ask the graduates if they could all please rise for a moment? And could you show your loud appreciation to your families, your friends, and your supporters? Thank you. You may now sit down again. So thank you all. Please enjoy the ceremony and have a wonderful day. Thank you. And now, a short video of congratulations from your school. Speak in on behalf of the School of Events, Tourism and Hospitality Management and the Carnegie School of Sport, we now present Dean of School, Peter McRae. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates and guests. As Dean, it is a privilege to welcome you to today's School of Event, Tourism and Hospitality Management and Carnegie School of Sport graduation ceremony. I stand here with a profound sense of pride and admiration as we recognise the dedication, passion and determination you have each demonstrated throughout your academic journey, with today marking the beginning of the next chapter of your lives. I am also honoured to be here representing both our academic and administrative staff who have partnered with you during your degree as a teacher, mentor, advisor and friend. They are the heart and soul of our school, committed to making a difference to the people, organisations and communities 
we work with. I know they share my pride and that of your family and friends in seeing you cross the stage and graduate today. The desire to make a difference is in the DNA of our school and our academic staff continue to use their expertise to positively impact the lives of others, which in turn enriches the authenticity and reputation of your degree. Staff are currently working with Natural in England to better understand the impact of recreation on biodiversity and geodiversity of protected sites. We have recently developed an inclusive match day toolkit for the England and Wales Cricket Board, which will help venues to support an inclusive environment for all. And we continue to support the Cold War network, supporting a better understanding of the Cold War era through cultural tourism. We're also fortunate to see many of our alumni using their expertise, experience and passion to benefit the lives of others. As role models, they conduct themselves with professionalism and integrity throughout fascinating careers that take, that take many twists and turns. You will shortly hear from one such alumni who has successfully aligned his passion with a career that has positively impacted the lives of millions around the world. This year, we have also had the privilege of continuing to support both Rob Burrow and Kevin Sinfield in their quest to raise funds for and awareness of MND. Rob's recent passing has impacted many within our community, with his approach to the challenges he faced inspiring us to simply be better. Throughout your degree, you have had the opportunity to develop your expertise, to develop your skills and to develop your unique passions which gives you the opportunity to positively impact the lives of others and in turn enrich your own future. As you will have experienced throughout your studies, this will not have been easy, as you will have faced challenges along the way, but you should have confidence in your own ability and in the words of Rob, in a world full of adversity, you too can dare to dream. Congratulations, Class of 2024. We wish you the very best in the next stage of your journey which we know will be rich with success, fulfilment, and a lasting impact on those you meet along the way. Thank you. I now invite Dr. James Musgrave to announce the awards for Carnegie School of Sport and the School of Events, Tourism, and Hospitality. Graduates. This is the moment where your individual achievements will be recognised, alongside those of your classmates. Please remain seated until our ushers ask you to stand. Remember to bring your name card with you as you queue up at the side of the stage. When you cross the stage, don't forget to smile for photos and your stage clip, which we'll send to you later. Parents, supporters, mums, dads, grandparents and friends, we ask that you please remain seated during this part of the ceremony so that everyone gets to see their graduand cross the stage. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduands and guests, I am pleased to present graduands from the School of Events, Tourism and Hospitality Management for the following awards. From the course of Event Operations and Production Management and for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Chloe Kirkwood. <laughs> Sophie Kirkwood. <laughs> Alex Newbat. Oliver Williams. The Dean's Prize for Outstanding Achievement Undergraduate Studies in Events Management, Sydney Woodward. Abigail Gault. From the course of Events Management for the award of Bachelor of Arts, Ethan Underwood. From the course of Events Management for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Harry Baldock Proud.
Oscar Black. Luke Boyd. Joseph Brereton. Lucy Brooks. Oliver Butters. Grace Charlton. Olivia Clark. Charlotte Claydon. Miles Colby Hill. The Dean's Prize for Contribution to the Course Undergraduate Studies in Events Management, Abigail Courage. Alice Darmudas. <laughs> Rebecca Denton. <laughs> James Dixon. <laughs> Ignacy Doggett Paul. Renee Dunn. <laughs> Eleni Alina. <laughs> Imogen Elma. <laughs> Chloe Glenn. Molly Gradwell. Archie Greenwood. Olivia Harris. Isabella Hart. Huang Lin Tao Ho. <laughs> Hannah Horsfield. <laughs> Francesca Hughes. <laughs> Lottie Ingham. Femi Jennings. <laughs> Lucy Johnson. <laughs> April Johnson's Parsons. <laughs> Sophie Lees. Hannah Lund. Grace McKinnon. Lauren Maguire Mulvihill. Kate McNally. Selena Maranchi. <laughs> Lois Morgan. <laughs> Matt Mount. <laughs> Grace Noble. Ruby Normington. <laughs> Smeya Osman.
Catherine Patchett. <laughs> Zoe Powell. <laughs> Catherine Reeson. <laughs> Caitlin Richmond. Jessica Robinson. Toby Robinson. Kian Rothery. Lily Salco. Isabella Savage. <laughs> Annabelle Sane Rainbow. <laughs> Millie Sharp. <laughs> Ellie Sheel. Charlie Skinner. <laughs> Jess Smith. <laughs> Rachel Smith. <laughs> Gabriella Swift. Evelyn Suzavash Jones, <laughs> Hermione Tasker, <laughs> Hannah Terrell, <laughs> Amelia Faith Tibbles. Lin Quan Tran, Lin Queen Tran. <laughs> Holly Veach. <laughs> Edward Vickers. <laughs> Ruby Vogel. Ronnie Watt. <laughs> Esther Rose Williams. <laughs> Imogen Wiseman. <laughs> Libby Wren. From the course of events management for the award of Master of Science, Jamie Hawthorne. <laughs> From the course of hospitality business management and for the award of Bachelor of Science with honors, Institute of Hospitality Prize for Outstanding Engagement with Industry and the Dean's Prize for Contribution to the course undergraduate studied in hospitality management, Holly Barnes. <laughs> Sahib Islam. <laughs> Sona Joy. <laughs> Daniela Soraya Lunga. Toby McChrystal. Jack Sclater. <laughs> Me Latran. <laughs> Me, 
from the course of Hospitality Business Management with Marketing for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Eleanor Bates. <laughs> Chimi Prize for Best Attendance and Engagement in the Year, Emma Beddows. The Dean's Prize for Outstanding Achievement, Undergraduate Studies in Hospitality Management, Amber Rose Levine. <laughs> Carolina Magalhees. <laughs> From the course of International Events Management for the award of Master of Science, Fatima Alanazi. Nora Alanazi. <laughs> Hadil Alkhaldi. <laughs> Mohammed Alsai. <laughs> Anuja Anil Nair. Mofoto Lua Bolugan. <laughs> Nijas Naju. <laughs> Phoebe Collinson. <laughs> Kashyup Darby. Sidel Estebiro. <laughs> Koziso Chukwu Rosemary Ezechedo. <laughs> Abisola Kubarat Fagbemi. <laughs> Alice Fitches. Janisha Gadhia. <laughs> Wilfred Joseph George. <laughs> Gaurav Gupta. <laughs> Kali Johnson. <laughs> Harman Giot. Gurvinder Kaur. <laughs> Jaspreet Kaur. <laughs> Manpreet Kaur. <laughs> Sandeep Kaur. Aisha Karavi. <laughs> Edward Leggett. <laughs> Duffy Marbaniang. <laughs> Louise McCormick. Charmy Bindal Kumar Mystery. <laughs> Tai Tao Ngoyen. <laughs> Tez O'Connor. <laughs> Path Samtosh Pashti. <laughs> Roshan Ganta. Anushka Sajan. <laughs> Jayesh Sukhvir Sarkania. <laughs> Ish 
Iqbal Singh. From the course of International Hospitality Management for the award of Master of Science, Hajia Ibrahim al -Jumay. Venkata Panendra Are. Mariam Abassi. Jayant Abhichandani. Ade Tutu Ade Sanya. Vasu Agarwal. Toyin Teo Akinbola. Swarav Alkandi Mudup Ilie. Reem Alasiri. Karen Ale Megar. Mohammed Alwuthan Nani. Aman. Amal Anthony. Duwank Aurora. Tejas Bagadi. Anuj Bangar. The Dean's Prize for Contribution to the Course, Postgraduate Studies in Hospitality Management, Viola Mariam Bello. <laughs> Sidamed Ben Mama. <laughs> Pranav Hirankumar Bhatt. Dana Joy Bishnoi. <laughs> Vinan Chandram. <laughs> Faith Awatu Charles. <laughs> Perpetual Eke. Ogio Lupa Eichtat Egundeli. <laughs> Muthukumar Gangad Haran. <laughs> Jiffin George. <laughs> Kash Ifgil. Vishwajit Hanjara. <laughs> Siddharth Shashikant Hiri. <laughs> Sartak Jadon. <laughs> Vipin Jayaprakash. <laughs> Olivia Jesuk. Rojan Josie. <laughs> Swarab Joshi. <laughs> Jane Jacob Joy. <laughs> Joyal Joy. <laughs> Giotti Giotti. Manan Kalinkar. Woo! 
Swapnale Deepak Kandalkar. Shushmita Wasant Kakira. Gurleen Kaur. Lakwinda Jeet Kaur. Payel Majumda. Loveleen Singh. Karnat Arif Makrani. Akhil Matthew. Rabin Matthew Otto Plaken. Aditya Mahatra. Srisyam Mohanan. Siddhant Mori. Hantai Ngoyen. Sumiat Noe. Barbara Odanukwi. Mojisola Oliemi Ojun Laja. Ogun Laja. Elizabeth Oyin Lucy. Chinomzo Ozurumba. Ravneet Singh Pabla. Shubham Pal. Lisa Samia Panwala. Lily Martin Peter. The Dean's Prize for Outstanding Achievement Postgraduate Studies in Hospitality Management, Hong Pham. Najnin. Ayosu Patricia Osayande. Mayuri Rajesh. Vilesh Rajuria. Prasad Ramapurath Putiyavitil. Ria Suresh Ramchandani. Vijay Kumar Ramala. Radha Say Kumar. Odell Marshall Rodriguez. Dinu Roy. Supriti Sadhu. Damilola Yetundi Salyu. Beba Sheikh. Joyelle Shaju. Shrawan Shakya. Anuj Sharma.
Gwarav Hitenda Sharma. Kunal Sharma. Sahil Sharma. Na Sharma. Albe Sibicham. Arjun Sadesh. Sorry. Arjun Sadashiv Sindhu. And Kush Singh. Omrinder Singh. Sukwinda Singh. Lokesh Reddy Sudini. Dhruvi Tandel. Tandel Forum Daxaben Dinesh Bay. Neopesh Thapa. Abhilal Fe Parambil AJ Kumar. Nana Takesh Elashvili. Binu Tum. Devang Mayor Vanyawala. Ejolal Vagesi. Jeet Chetankuma Vyas. Kartik Atul Kumar Vyas. Akash Yadav. Shivanshi Yadav. From the course of International Tourism Management for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours. Natalie Bogdan. Joshua Bradbury. <laughs> Tia Buckingham. <laughs> Faye Driver. <laughs> the Dean's Prize for Contribution to the Course, Undergraduate Studies in Tourism Management, Daniel Garachon. Grayson Hydery. <laughs> Emily Just. <laughs> Dara Maguire. <laughs> Kimia Malek Paul. Cameron Pearson Ray. <laughs> Ashlyn Rainey. <laughs> Olivia Reynolds. <laughs> Molly Smith. From the course of International Tourism Management with Marketing for the Award of Certificate of Higher Education, Ana Cintia da Silva Ferreira. <laughs> From the course of International Tourism Management with Marketing for the Award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours. And the Dean's Prize for Outstanding Achievement 
Undergraduate Studies in Tourism Management, Sarah Bramling. The Association of Tourism in Higher Education Student of the Year, Lisa Bruin. Adam Fennick. Institute of Travel and Tourism Center of Excellence, Student of the Year Award, Hannah Harrison. Victor Setkovsky. For the Cabbie Award for Outstanding Engagement with Tourism Studies, Gabriella Viziova. From the course of Responsible Tourism Management for the Award of Master of Science, Gunjan Banakar. <laughs> Naomi Clark. <laughs> Paula Hasler. <laughs> Nadine Mukundi. Anna Myram. The Dean's Prize for Outstanding Achievement, Postgraduate Studies in Tourism Management, Dimitra Swari. Okay. Anna Rose Zutu Leaf. From the course of International Hospitality Management for the Award of Master of Science, Varun Verma. <laughs> Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice Chancellor, graduates and guests, I am pleased to invite Professor Sue Backhouse to present the research awards for the School of Events tourism and hospitality management. Masters by Research is awarded by candidates who has investigated and evaluated a topic using research methodology appropriate to the subject area. Each candidate will have written a thesis which is examined by a panel of experts. For the thesis titled, An Investigation of Student Non-Continuation Characteristics in Higher Education, a case study of students in the School of Events, Tourism and Hospitality Management, Leeds Beckett University, this research identifies gender, socioeconomic classification, disability and location as pivotal factors in student non-continuation. Gender and disability emerge as primary predictors guiding tailored strategies to enhance retention. For the award of Masters by Research, I present Faye Thompson. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to candidates who have pursued a program of individual research leading to work of publishable quality. Each candidate will have written a substantial thesis and have been examined by a panel of experts at a viva voce examination. For the thesis titled, Moments in Movements, the role of group-based emotions within cultural and community engagement, this longitudinal study explores group-based emotion within cultural and community engagement. The findings support how emotions are an essential part of in-group identification, bolstering in-group member commitment. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, I present Dr. Michelle Lanham.
So the thesis titled, Yeah, Whatever, Musical Festival Tent Waste, Change in Behaviour. This research applied behavioural economics and nudge theory to the problem of tent waste at musical festivals, creating new solutions focused on behavioural change. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, I present Dr. Theresa Moore. And now, a short video of congratulations from your school. From the course of Sports Events Management for the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Teddy Kareen. <laughs> Emma Horsford. <laughs> Holly Jones. <laughs> Ala Kenny Ventura Vongo. From the course of Sport Events Management for the award of Postgraduate Diploma, A.S. Raghav Kumar. <laughs> From the course of Sports Events Management for the award of Master of Science, Shabib Alalyani. <laughs> Manvia Singh. Sania Dipendra Bivadi. Ankita Chowdhury. Shubham Dilip Chavan. Udit Chaheja. Bilal Amhir Hamja Chitti. Woo! 
The Dean's Prize for Contribution to the course Postgraduate Studies in Events Management and our President of the Student Union, Dhruv Dev. <laughs> Oni Alhalhuli. <laughs> Anushe Fulford. <laughs> Niket Gohill. Esther Hariati, <laughs> Yatish Jivan Prakash, <laughs> Arya Mabakht Kotwal, <laughs> Atul Kumar, Elon Rewaju Ledejo <laughs> Sriraj Sividas Menon <laughs> Fortunate Ndidi The Dean's Prize for Outstanding Achievement Postgraduate Studies in Events Management, Ivana Obetkova. <laughs> Anjola Alowu Orintunsin. <laughs> Josh Shailesh Panchal. Nihal Rachaprolu <laughs> Rohan Rafi <laughs> Chinme Abhe Shedj <laughs> Deepak Yadav Hitanshi Ritesh Thakar. <laughs> Harjit Kaur. <laughs> Muzamil Kalaru Kandi. <laughs> Suja Hadin. Benson Tommy <laughs> From the course of Sport Business Management for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Pedro Aghagboran <laughs> Ebenezer Ansa Aaron Assel, <laughs> Olivia Baguli, <laughs> Freddie Bashford, <laughs> Jake Bentley, <laughs> Rowan Bentley. Niccolo Beretti, <laughs> Zach Box, <laughs> Michael Brophy, <laughs> Luke Brunt, <laughs> Nathan Buckley. Dan Butler, <laughs> Finn Campbell, <laughs> Holly Cook, <laughs> Sam.
Sam Cox. Finn Davies. Reese Davies. Rhea Dixon. Nick Elliott Ashworth. Lucy Exley. William Faulkner. Zane Follow Runzo. Christian Freiter. Ryan Gate. Stanley Jilks. Michael Graham. Jacob Green. James Harrison. The Dean's Prize for Studies in Sport Business, Charlotte Hill. Luke Hood. Matthew Holden. Matthew Howard. Thomas Jarrett. Jack Jarvis. Adam Jenkins. Owen Jones. Rajan Kaka. Hassan Khalid Ligare. Cornell Kinniborough. Alistair Lee. Thomas Lister. Alexander Lloyd Williams. Sebastian Losa. Rowan Love. Guansalu Batista. Mattia Marin. Charlie Mears. Joe Mary Smith. Oliver Miskita. Dylan Miles. Melville Mwendi. Ben Novel. Flynn O'Callaghan. Gokul PM Matile Vitil. <laughs> Esther, Esther Pagado. <laughs> Joe Pinnock. <laughs> William Pritt.
Jake Quamby. <laughs> Mohamed Rafi Dermawang. <laughs> Thomas Reed. <laughs> Samuel Rhodes. <laughs> Keelan Robinson Hine. Danny Sadiq. George Sanderson. Stan Shaw. Mason Sheridan Hawley. Macaulay Stevenson. Sharpine Saber. Jonathan Taring. Jamie Taylor. Sepe Valla. Dave Williams. Thomas Williams. Richard Winder. Owen Yarwood. Arda Yilmaz. From the course of Sport Business Management for the award of Master of Science, Abraham Amrith. <laughs> Darval Batnaga. <laughs> Abdul Hadi Amir Udin Bombal. Mayo Baradi, <laughs> Kenneth Anthony de Souza, <laughs> Sharon Dutta, <laughs> Amika Ibuta. Nicholas van Gruber. Brijesh Gandhi. Farida Ibrahim. Manan Jambu Kathari. Vivek Mishra. Riley Noble. Bavik Rishmin Panchal. Path Prakash. Divyansh Pandir. Shadman Ul Karim. Sachin Rajendra Shindi. Jitenda Singh. Elijah Andre Turner Jr. Shrikant Varg. From the course of International Tourism Management for the award of Bachelor of Honours, Mohammed Fand Khan. <laughs> From
from the course of Sport Business Management with Foundation Year for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Andrew Head. Pragya Jahava. Spencer King. Benjamin Mallory. From the course of Sport Development for the award of Bachelor of Arts, Andre Earnshaw. From the course of Sport Development for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, James Charles Bebbington. <laughs> Liam Clark. <laughs> Luke Doyle. <laughs> George Garnett. <laughs> Alex Jones Gerard. Jack Macefield. Tom Maurice. Rachel Murray. Isha Singh. Luke Smith. From the course of Sport Development and Management for the award of Master of Arts, Jacob Thompson. From the course of Sport Development with Foundation Year for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Jamie Westerman. From the course of Sport Marketing for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Molly Affleck. Archie Atwell. Bailey Calvert. Robbie Carney. Samuel Ellis. Jake Field. Nathan Frayne. Jack Frogson. Antonio Giorgio. Arnav Ghosh. <laughs> Benjamin Gledhill. Josh Halls. Taylor Hatley. Lewis Hay. Harry Lane. Jack Lana. Evie Lopez. The Dean's Prize for Studies in Sport Marketing, Michael Martin. Joe Pacariello. Joseph Ruddle. <laughs> Lewis Smith. <laughs> Will Stanton. <laughs> Max Theobald. <laughs> Liam Thomas. Mackenzie Turner. 
Ollie Wilson. From the course of Sport, Sport Marketing with Foundation Year for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Reja Awais. Ben Hammond. Francesca Sharp. From the course of Strategic Sport Marketing for the award of Master of Science, George Barker. Oliver Cooper. Charlotte Evans. Isaac Kelly. Nicholas Lopez. Kaushul Subramaniam Manjiri Ramak Rishnan. Harley Meadows. Tom Painter. Callum Puttuk. Ellen Tuckwood. From the course of International Hospitality Management for the award of Master of Science, Jagreet Singh. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates and guests, I am pleased to present Sue Backhouse to present the Research Awards for the Carnegie School of Sport. Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to candidates who have pursued a programme of research leading to work of publishable quality. Each candidate will have written a substantial thesis and have been examined by a panel of experts at a Viva Voce examination. For the thesis titled, The Changing Role and Remit of Sport Development Services in Local Government in England, this thesis argues for a reconceptualization of sport development, recognizing services as increasingly agentified and reflective of broader policy shifts towards health and the marketization of public services. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, I present Dr. Janine Partington. For the thesis titled, Young Women and the Politics of Selfies, Hypervisibility, Regulation and Play. This study explores how the gaze on women and girls evolved in the digital age and how selfies contribute to women's permanent state of visibility. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy, I present Dr. Jocelyn Myrtle. Today's ceremony features an honorary award. Leeds Beckett University is proud to recognize individuals who've excelled in their field or made a significant contribution to public life with an honorary degree. We have awarded more than 250 honorary degrees since 1982. Many of our honorary graduates are also graduates of our university. Whether they are already alumni or not, our honorary graduates represent the values that we promote to our students. Excellence, inspiration, creativity, professionalism, enterprise, integrity, 
and a desire to make the world a better place for others. Today, we are pleased to present Tom Williams. My name's Tom Williams, and I'm the Managing Director of Parkrun EMEA. I graduated from Leeds Beckett University in 2004 uh, with a real interest in getting people active and, and public health. After I graduated from Leeds Beckett, I took a full-time lecturing role in Sport and Exercise Science Department at, at the University of Leeds, which I, I did for four years, and in 2010, I gave up my job at Leeds University to volunteer full-time for Park Run, and then I've worked for Park Run since 2011. My earliest memories of Park Run still make me smile really to this day. We had a great time and we chatted and we all went for coffee afterwards and there were probably 20 people and we had a wonderful Saturday morning really. And I, and I think we felt we'd made it at that point. We, we kind of figured if that was all it ever was, 15 people going to the park every Saturday morning, that was enough. I think our desire to grow came more from a desire to share that experience and for other people to have the same wonderful experience we did. Now we've built to, to be a significant charity. We've got nearly 70 full-time staff. We've got offices in about five different countries. We have about 900 what we call ambassador volunteers who are senior volunteers who do stuff outside of events. We have 3,000 event directors. We have about, I think, a million different people have volunteered. So we've become this big organization. One thing that personally I, I feel really proud of, it's the Park Run's concept of turn up on a Saturday morning for free unannounced with no real equipment and walk or run around a park or volunteer at a park and then go for coffee afterwards. That is still the case 20 years later and so if you go to Park Run in Soweto or you go to Park Run in California or you go to Park Run in Milan, that experience is about as close to the original experience as you could possibly get and that's been really hard to achieve and that's something I've been really passionate about over the years and I feel really, really proud of that. The message I'd like to leave everybody with, and it's definitely something that I've learned through my Park Run journeys, the world is the most wonderful, exciting, amazing place and people are so incredibly good and I've been lucky to do Park Run events all around the world. We've visited countries across Africa and across Europe and across Asia, the Americas, and everywhere I've gone, when you've met actual local people. They've just been wonderful, really exciting to work with and to volunteer with and to engage with and be part of. And I, I just, you know, like to reassure everybody that the world's truly an amazing place and there are incredible opportunities out there and encourage people to go out there and, and embrace those opportunities and see where that takes them. Today's citation is read by Leeds Beckett University Registrar and Secretary Michaela Borislavsky. It is a privilege and a pleasure to introduce Tom Williams for the award of Honorary Doctor of Sport Honoris Causa. Tom began his career with a degree in Human Biology, Exercise and Health from Oxford Brookes University in the late 1990s. He worked as a personal trainer and fitness consultant in Leeds during the early 2000s, while also serving as a sport masseur and fitness conditioner for elite athletes. In 2005, he earned his master's degree in sport and exercise science from Leeds Beckett University, before taking up a post as lecturer in sport and exercise science at the University of Leeds until 2010. During his time at the university, Tom helped to establish the Woodhouse Moor Park Run in Leeds and also the Hyde Park Harriers Running Club. In late 2010, Tom transitioned to a full-time role with Park Run, where he worked his way up through various leadership positions including UK Event Activator, UK Country Manager, UK Managing Director, and Global Chief Operating Officer. He is currently the Managing Director for Parkrun's activities in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Tom was heavily involved in making Parkrun a UK registered charity in 2016, he played a key role in their expansion into new territories, including Japan and Germany, 
and led the organisation through the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. He also co-founded the Marathon Talk podcast in 2010, which became the most downloaded UK running podcast for over a decade with 600 episodes. Thanks partly to Tom's contribution, Parkrun is a global success story with over 9 million members and over 350,000 taking part every week. The organization recorded its 100 millionth instance of participation in 2023. Tom Williams, for your service to sport, it is my great pleasure to call upon Ian Cornish, Chair of the Board of Governors, to confer on you the award of Honorary Doctor of Sport Science Honoris Causa. Thank you. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates and guests. It's quite remarkable to find myself here receiving this wonderful award. Many of the previous recipients have been huge inspirations to me, and to share this stage with them, so to speak, is something I'm incredibly proud of. Thank you. In 2007, I met Parkrun founder Paul Sinton Hewitt. And although I didn't know it at the time, mine and my family's life was about to change forever. Within a couple of years, I'd given up my safe and secure lecturing job to volunteer for Park Run, and by 2011, I was a full-time employee. It's been quite a journey, and I'd like to share three beliefs that helped me along the way. Firstly, dream big and ignore the naysayers. When I met Paul, he only had three park run events, all in West London. And not only was his vision of a park run in every town in the world considered ridiculous, but even the now fully accepted principle of every Saturday, for free, forever, was derided by experts around the world. His vision was so radical and so different to anything that had come before that no one thought it remotely possible. However, this coming weekend, almost 400,000 different people will take part across over 2,500 locations in, two, in 22 countries around the world. And since the 2nd of October 2004, we have recorded almost 115 million walks, runs, and instances of volunteering. Secondly, work hard, really hard. For at least the first decade of Park Run's existence, we took every single opportunity that came our way, most of which amounted to absolutely nothing. We said yes to every meeting request, despite the majority being a waste of time. And every single person who showed even the slightest interest in joining our movement was welcomed with open arms even though it often didn't work out. Day after day, we faced challenge after challenge, and not once did we consider the possibility of failure. Day after day, we got knocked down, and day after day, we got back up again and kept moving forwards. And finally, most importantly of all, stay true to your beliefs. Perhaps the greatest challenge we faced is to understand and protect what Park Run really is. And that's what happens at Park Run events all around the world every single week. At event number one, there were five volunteers and 13 runners who turned up unannounced and spent an hour or so being social and active in the great outdoors. Some ran as hard as they could against the clock. 
Some jogged around and had a chat. Some volunteered. They all went for coffee afterwards, and a movement was born. Keeping things simple and true over the last 19 years has been remarkably difficult. However, I'm extremely proud that this coming weekend, those participating in something like our 735,000th event will enjoy largely the same experience as those first 18 parkrun pioneers. My message to those of you graduating today is therefore a simple one. Dream big, work hard, stay true. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Well done for all that you've achieved. Please now welcome Leeds Beckett University Deputy Vice-Chancellor, Professor Phil Cardew, who will formally confer your awards. Well, he will when he finds his speech. I know it's there somewhere. There we are. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, graduates and guests. My first duty is to ask our graduates please to stand. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degrees and awards of Leeds Beckett University for which you have qualified. Congratulations. Please be seated. This gathering of our class of 2024 is a time for celebration, a time for reflection, and a time for commitment. Let's start with celebration. Today we are celebrating your achievements, the body of knowledge you have worked so hard to acquire, the professional skills you have mastered, the values you have upheld, and the personal qualities of tenacity, perseverance, and resilience that you have demonstrated in completing your studies. It would have been easy to shrink from the many personal challenges you have faced on your journey, but you did not. You met the challenges head on, and you have been successful. Please be proud of this achievement and the qualities you have demonstrated, which have brought you success. In any academic year, graduation marks a period of transition and therefore of reflection. The pressures our world has faced in the last five years a global pandemic, catastrophic international conflict, severe economic hardship, technological advances, and the increasing realities of climate change have challenged many assumptions about how we live our lives. They are shining a clear and unfailing light on systematic and deep-seated inequalities, injustices, and unfairnesses. Electorates across the globe are demanding their governments address the issues that confront us to change our world, to make it better, fairer, more equal, more sustainable. So you graduate in challenging times, but none of us is ever defined by the cards we have been dealt. It is how we play them that counts. It is not the circumstances we find ourselves in that determine what and who we will be but rather how we react to and address those circumstances. So, in the next phase of your personal journey, I ask you to reaffirm a commitment to the values and personal characteristics you have developed as our member of our commu university community. Be kind, be tolerant, be objective, be fair in your dealings with others. In whatever role you take, Show support for your colleagues. Show professional commitment to your clients, your patients, and your customers. Stand up against injustice. Be respectful to our planet. Volunteer in your community. 
and instill in your children the values of your generation. Continue to be resilient in the face of challenges to come. In this way, by committing to use the talents you have so clearly demonstrated here at Leeds Beckett University, you will, step by step, play your part in changing our world for the better. Class of 2024, you already have everything you need to succeed. It is within you now. So let me close with a deep and meaningful story which I hope will illustrate my point. It is a story about a vice chancellor who stood before the graduates at a ceremony just like this and decided to use some visual aids to emphasize their message to the audience. They placed a large empty mayonnaise jar on the table beside the lectern and proceeded to fill it to the brim with rocks. Then they asked the graduates if the jar was full. The graduates nodded in agreement that it was. The vice chancellor then picked up a box of pebbles and poured them into the jar. They shook the jar lightly, so the pebbles rolled into the spaces between the rocks. They looked up again, and again asked the graduates if the jar was full. Again, the graduates nodded in agreement. Then the vice chancellor picked up a box of sand and poured that into the jar. Of course, the sand filled up the remaining spaces between the rocks and the pebbles. Now, said the vice chancellor, I want you to recognize that this jar represents your life. The rocks in it are the important things. Your family, your partner, your health, your children. Things that if everything else was lost and only they remained, would still offer a fulfilling life. The pebbles are other things that matter, like your job, your house, your car. And the sand? The sand is everything else. The small stuff. But look, if you put the sand into the jar first, there is no room for the pebbles or the rocks. The same goes for your life. If you spend all your time and energy on the small stuff, you will never have room for the things that are important to. So pay attention to the things that are critical to your happiness. Play with your children. Take time to get medical checkups. Take your partner out dancing. Take your family to the Ivy for a champagne lunch. There will always be time to go to work, clean the house, give a dinner party, and fix the car. Take care of the rocks first, the things that really matter, then the pebbles, set your priorities, and then remember, the rest is just sand. At that moment, a graduating student jumped up onto the stage and moved to the jar, which the other graduates and the vice chancellor had already agreed was full, and taking a flask of finest Yorkshire tea from her pocket, proceeded to pour it into the jar. Of course, the tea was absorbed by the sand, making the jar truly full. So you see, said the graduating student, turning to address the audience, no matter how full your life is, there's always room for a brew. So finally, on behalf of everyone here at Leeds Beckett University, may I congratulate you once again on your achievements and on your graduation here today. Please do enjoy the rest of the day and your celebrations with your friends and family, and please take with you our very best wishes for the future. Good luck and thank you. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates and guests. Before we close, please join me in congratulating again all of those who have just graduated. Chancellor, Chair of Governors, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, graduates and guests, I now declare the formal proceedings closed. Thank you. Our academic procession is now leaving, which marks the end of your graduation ceremony. Once the procession has left the auditorium, our ushers will then ask graduates to leave first, followed by guests. When you have met your family and friends outside of the arena, we ask that you move back to the Rose Bowl, taking care across the roads. 
There, you will find informal photo opportunities, music, refreshments, and a special guest appearance from Beckett Bear. Enjoy the rest of your day.